The state of Oklahoma says it will soon shut down marijuana grows that do not pass inspection. But some of those companies are now suing, saying it's the state who's not keeping up. Our KOCO's Evan Onstad joining us here in studio. Evan, these companies say they've been trying to get inspected. Right. In this class action lawsuit, one company says that they submitted an inspection request last July and it still hasn't happened. And they say they should not be penalized for the state's backlog. But let's back up here. There has been a push by many in state government and lawmakers to increase the amount of regulation in Oklahoma's marijuana industry. As we have reported time and time again, the Sooner State has become known as the Wild West of Weed. So last month, the state sent a letter to more than 2,000 marijuana businesses saying they needed to show proof of compliance within a month. Now, we talked to straight drug agents back in December about cracking down. We started targeting these farms, targeting these entities. Um, to, to really reverse this trend. At one point in 2021, we had over 9,400 farms operating in Oklahoma, and a large majority of those uh, were criminal in nature. This new lawsuit takes aim at the State Bureau of Narcotics and the State Fire Marshal. It demands that no business lose their license nor be penalized until the Fire Marshal can, quote, process, review, and either approve and or reject all pending applicants. OBN told us today they could not comment on pending litigation. And when we talked to the state fire marshal last fall about the thousands of applications already on their desk, they told us they would review each one in the order they were received.